So the first order of business is to take off the outer part of the air filter cover. Comes out just like that. And we have filter, which is still good. A little stained, but it's fine. Yeah, don't lose that. So as I said, 10 millimeter wrench or socket. You have two 10 millimeter nuts. And then also on these, you have a 10 millimeter bolt right there. And then you just take off the inner part of the air box cover. You're gonna have a PCV line here. It comes off just like that. Now, here's the tricky part. Some of you guys will look at this thing and realize that it's uh, kind of daunting if you've never messed with one of these before. They're not that bad. In order to remove one of these the easiest way possible, this back linkage comes off very simple. But all you're going to do is just move this part of the butterfly back. But moving it back like that, and I'm just going to get pair of pliers back there, lift it off. Now here you have a spring. Just very carefully pull that up and out. Let it sit aside just like that. Now this kit comes with the new fuel lines. We are going to replace this one because it's kind of dry rotted. So these Honda clamps here are kind of annoying. But all you have to do is just kind of finagle them around. Eventually you're, you'll get them back far enough so you can undo that and this model has a automatic fuel uh, shutoff valve installed so when you go to turn on your choke it leaves the fuel on but when you go to the off position on one of these it shuts it off so it is off but we are going to dribble a little bit of fuel out of this line that's okay just take it off. So now here's the tricky part that hems up people when they take apart one of these carburetors. You're not going to be able to get this linkage off this way without bending it or finessing it. And you can see it's already been bent a little bit from people doing that in the past. What you have to do is take these two bolts out. And even if your mower has the different uh, fuel shutoff valve, the manual one, it's still basically the same thing. You're going to want to take off this whole piece here so you can move this around. And that's going to allow you to pull that linkage out without destroying it or mangling it. So I like to call this the Honda sandwich. These are the mass of gaskets that Honda likes to use on their carburetors. So the first one on this particular engine is this big gasket. Then we have the carb itself, as well as the spacer, which I'm going to have to probably remove that at the bench. But you can see now there's enough play and slop in this to get the carburetor out without too much fuss. That's how you do it. Don't screw with it any other way. That's the easiest way to get it out. And there's the carburetor.